YouTube, I'm back again today for another Kickstarter critique where I take a look at a different tabletop games project every weekday at 1.40 p.m. Eastern Standard Time and give my honest thoughts on how that Kickstarter project is being ran. So if you enjoy those kind of weird, wild, weird, wild content, please be sure to click on the subscribe button as I'm trying to hit 9,000 subscribers this year to celebrate my nine years of making videos. But right now, I'm very excited to be checking out the most popular project on all the games and probably on all of Kickstarter right now. Yep, that is the Hexagonal Gaming System by Wormwood, who we didn't know uh, make like top quality tables if i recall correctly a modular magnetic solution to elevate your board game or rpg night dice trays dice and mini storage whoa okay so i like how they 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 double dipped their chip there they said hey this is for board gamers and this is for rpgers so immediately you're gonna have a larger sample size here i'm looking at it i like the image but i wish it was zoomed in and I'm going to guess that once we get to this next picture, it's really going to blow my pants off. Yeah, this is the, the image that really blows my pants off. But once again, how many people actually see this image? Because once they get here, they're just going to click on that most of the time. Which means, I always think you should enlarge it. Make it look nice. Um, so, dice trays, dice mini storage component, organizers, and more. As always, when I go into the video, I'm thinking three things. you got to convince every Kickstarter backer. Do I want it? Can you do it? How much is it? Let's go. Whoa, 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 slow down. That was so much you showed me there. What is this? Oh, those are card holders. Oh, those are hot. Oh, that's Gloomhaven Jaw, the lion, you sneaky, sneaky minx. That's one of the most popular games out for like the last few years. Uh, good, good play there. What? Those are so fun. Well, it's fancy. Wait, 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 wait. There was, wait, what was that? What the hell was the one with the beads? What was this? What is that? Is this... What is this thing? Is this to keep track of stuff? That looks... Okay. We got some new ideas here. This one's just purely circular. Oh my goodness. They got different layouts. Nice shot. <laughs> it's going so fast. But I think that's part of the idea. I think this is supposed to be just a drive-by where you're like immediately like, oh my gosh, this looks so slickly produced. This is not what we typically see on Kickstarter. Just wow us, grab us by the seat of our pants. Uh, I want to see more in depth, but I'm sure they're going to show me. But so far, really top-notch video. Oh. So slick. Magnets? Oh my goodness, yes! Oh! Wait, wait, wait. It holds minis? Because you can put two? Oh my. <laughs> oh, okay, signature. Huge one. Are these just dice trays for ones? Oh, so slick. So, so slick. Because they can just pass around the board. Wow. And Hello. I remember this last time as well. I did a Wormwood project before, and they break up their Kickstarter videos in a very distinct way, where first they have this absolutely sexy video where it's like, I want to buy it. And then they go give you the more personal touch, which normally I think is a great thing. I remember on their last project I did, I wasn't a fan of the personal touch. I think it was really long or something like that. But let's see. This one's not really long. It's only two minutes. Oh, and uh, thank you for watching our video. This is the Hexagonal Gaming System by Wormwood. And personally, I'm very excited for this project because I feel like we've gotten away from a lot of things in the past couple of campaigns. Yeah, yeah, we've had a couple really big, really great projects, but mm -hmm. this, is a, this is kind of a back-to-the-roots kind of thing. You know, it's stuff like this. We haven't been able to do things like this yeah. in a really long time. Dice was obviously all about the dice, and then we what, had what is that? MGT, which was all about value, value, value. And we didn't really flex the, the crafting muscles. And I'm really glad to get... I don't know why you're holding up that specific piece. Like, I'm trying to figure it out. Maybe you're just, like, it's because the wood is really nice. Like, is it just me? Get back to, you know, some masterwork stuff. And this is actually, yeah. I think, one of the nicest masterwork things. Yeah, that does. I, I haven't seen it until now. Oh, hey. oh, what, look at that. You see that? Yeah. What is it? What, what the hell am I looking at? Is that just a chunk of wood with wormwood on it? 
Like why? Why are we taking the time to spotlight? Look at this piece of wood. It's got it's got our name on it. Like I'm I. Someone please in the chat if you know tell me because I'm so confused. I like white oak. It didn't click for me, but it goes really well with one guy. Actually. It does. Now we have like actual brand new trays. Okay, cool stuff. Tiles. We have oh. brand new accessories. Like yeah, that thing is sweet. I'm, I'm so excited to see tiles come back because mm. tiles were oh. maybe my favorite mm. project in a lot of ways. Yeah. Just because I'm such a big board game nerd. Mm. And the combo I've been waiting for the combo tile. This yeah. is it. Oh. This is, yeah. That hit, this, oh. this is jam. Yeah. First game you play with it, go. Probably wingspan. Yeah, they are always man. Which is why it's in the photo so much. Yeah, thanks for watching the video. I hope you share the page, get the word out, all that stuff. Mm -hmm. um, Check you, out the pledge calculator. Yes. Yeah, very important. If you want to know, it has the full pricing of everything in there. But it'll awesome. also let you know your shipping estimate. Mm -hmm. So that's which is. Oh, oh! They just talked about the price and the shipping in the video. It makes me so happy. And then they even explained where the shipping was going to be done. So now I already know where it's going to be done. Yes, there's enough. There's something odd about product makers pretending to be surprised by their own products. <laughs> I thought about it like that, but yeah. I still don't know what the, like, what was, the, why was that one piece of wood so, like, I'm glad we got back to this one piece of wood. I'm glad we're back to our roots. I didn't get it. It's big, important in this campaign. You need to know your shipping estimate is based on your backer number. I don't know, I don't know what to say. Like, how many times can you say we appreciate it? I want to, I don't want to say it. Like, I don't want to, I can't swear in Kickstarter videos. I don't want to say it. I want to yeah. show you the appreciation sure. through what we have planned. I have secret stretch goals. There's no stretch Ooh. goals on the page. They're secret. I, I can't wait to continuously be talking to the backers throughout the entire campaign. It just feels so disingenuous to sit here and be like, thanks so much through a camera lens. So I'd rather show it through making sure that this is one of the best campaigns that you've ever backed. I'll say thanks to the campaign. <laughs> secret <laughs> stretch goals. What the hell are we talking I'm about? I'm excited. Too, gonna be better. Thank you guys so much. And uh, we'll see you guys on the other side. Okay. Okay. So I already feel like we're a member of the community. We're going to have secret stretch goals. That gets me excited. No, I'm not being facetious there. That's like that's the kind of thing that gets people hyped. You know, why is this $336,000 project more popular than the Avatar one, which has $4 million? You know, it's because you do cool things like this. Super excited. So uh, do I want it? Yeah. Yeah, that video. Completely sold. Can you do it? Yeah. Pedigree. I've heard of you. Plus, this is your actual images of you doing it. Um, so yeah, can you do it? Yes. And how much is it? That's what we need to get down to it. But we do want to see how many things they have outstanding pending, uh, because I've gotten burned on this before. So 17 created 93 backs makes it look like a member of the community. Awesome. Cause they are a member of the community and we have the dice. Yeah. The dice that went absolutely crazy gaga. So that one's not going to be out yet. I know that one's not going to be out yet because I just did a video on that one. I think a couple months ago. So we'll look at the, uh, the last, uh, yeah, so maybe the last table, did they get the table out? This is, we're just checking to make sure these aren't flaming dumpster fires that we secretly don't know about. So, wonderful situation with my prismatic glass dice. A friend of mine, I'm still waiting on mine. Any idea what the holdup is? Please send us a direct message and we can assist you. For, yeah, so great. And this is what I really want to see here, that we do have some people with some minor issues, but it looks like they've shipped everything out. And when someone was on that, they were like, so, because it says one month ago, one month ago. So that means they were on it, they communicated, they're monitoring the comment section. Awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. So I feel comfortable with the can you do it. I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to, oh wait, so this was the table. I am curious about the table. So let's see about the table. Comments, 7,700. What size is the monitor TV in the insert screen? So gaming system by Wormwood, weekly video update. Ooh, would like weekly video updates. Uh, weekly video update, weekly video update. So yeah, I feel very comfortable with this company right now. And that's some great customer service right there. So we're going to go with can you do it? Yes. Do I want it? Yes. How much is it? Hopefully, I don't beat around the bush. We just get straight to the price. But then, granted, I imagine this is going to be much more like a a la carte shopping style area if they mentioned the shipping that much. And hopefully, that's very clean and clear to do. There's that one piece of wood that we all loved for whatever reason. <laughs> Welcome to the latest campaign from Warwood, the market leader in tabletop gaming accessories. Can you do it? Yeah. They're like, yeah, we can do it. Uh, the hexagonal gaming system brings together our tabletop tiles organization system, our hexagonal vaults for dice and miniature storage. But we aren't stopping there. The system also adds brand new products like hexagonal dice trays, tabletop tile storage solutions, and even display pieces to show off your collection. Wow. So pledge calculator. Yeah, this feels much more like a store. And I don't necessarily have a problem with that at all, as long as your store is simple to navigate. So let's see if they nailed it. All right, click here for pricing. Oh, oh, and there's even a video. Okay, so I'll click here, and then we'll also check out the vid. I'm very excited, because we're starting a new series, a little Kickstarter update series, because I'm responsible for that now, because that's my new job. Being a VP means 
You need to... This is how you build brand loyalty. End of the conversation. This is the kind of thing that even if you have massive screw-ups, people are still... Because you, you, the level of transparency, this is great. I just, I love seeing more of this in our hobby. Demonstrate the product. This is just one of that was the things nice. that is going in our new Hexy Time campaign. Ha! Right into the solo tile. What a lovely dish. If you've been following our journey on Worm Life of us working on... Prototypes. Hexy Time yes! Starter, you know what it's about. But if you do not know, there are two separate products slash systems that are going to be in this thing. First things first is our tabletop tiles. Basically, hexagonal magnetic pieces that all serve unique functions for role-playing, for board gaming, or things a little bit more universal. Then we also have our hero vaults, which come in two sizes. One is a That's the vault thing. for your dice, and the other... That's the thing! Yes, I agree! That's a really cool concept, so now I quite understand understand why he was like this thing right here is our best thing because it was that cool thing where you can store the money okay now i get it <laughs> tabletop tiles and look at that i love how they mentioned the dice. depth the other for your character menu. so st tile. the price was a little bit quick there hero vault all to come together to create the hexagonal gaming system in the campaign we have hickory paduke wenge white oak aromatic oh. cedar Gumpala stop it there's purple Mahogany, purple hearts vault and tamarind Wood, Bolivian Rosewood, Monkey Wood, Cherry, Black Poison Wood, Macassar Ebony, and Black Walnut. That was amazing. We're going to start that with was... the tiles. Look at this lovely, oh. packed, magnetic, I want it. modular system. He did it upside down. The utilitarian tiles that we have are definitely the solo, the duo, and the card. Pretty self-explanatory function. Solo and duo, dish cutouts for game components or anything. All right. Let me know in the chat right now. I want this in front of me for, like, those three things right there in front of me for every single game I played in the history of humanity, potentially. Like, that, that is so much, get, get out of here, suggested videos. That is so much functionality right there. Well, not that one, but the one with the, the yeah, cards. Like, like wow. And card time, yeah, and then the cards and the, th oh. Cards. Keeps them at a nice slight tilt. Very nice. Combo tile. Does it look familiar? Combo tile is half of a duo tile, half of a card tile. I don't know. What it is. You put some <laughs> cards there and you put a modest amount of components in there for games like Wingspan. Next is the dumbest tile. I mean, Jason's tile. This is the note tile. Scribble down your nonsense. Hide your penmanship. That's your fantastic. We went Apple. We're making you buy our stupid hexagonal sticky notes. You can't just put squares in there. You're stuck <laughs> in the system now. What's going to happen to this happening? We got our tracker tile. This is the tile that murdered the abacus. So there's no, like, mechanism in there. It's just some magnetization. Is that a word? Magnetization. I love this video. It's bad. Yeah, what's the thing? New and improved. There's actually a magnet underneath the coaster now. This little center area. That's your storage. It's never coming out. Pop them in there. Take one out. Top and notch. Divots. They still do not fall. There's even more. There's tile rack. So this would be a single segment right here. Just like that. And that's how it would come. I need my caster tile on here. I need yep. this. A combo tile. That is just nice. These end caps... And the thing that I really love about this is he's showcasing just how easy this can potentially be for you as well. And so many times with physical products, I say this all the time when I do Kickstarters for other things, we don't see enough of just people using those products. We don't care if they're in rough form. We don't care if it's prototype. Uh, just using the things goes a long way to showing it. Tom has an add-on, and they snap on the side. Makes it look like an actual thing. It's not easy to hold some, but it just looks incomplete. So these... <laughs> Great. Let's see you got more tiles. Pop it in. Who wants that? Just like oh. that. You just keep doing that. And your rack just Oh my gosh. Is this on the side of the table or something? Keep this on the side <laughs> of the table. You can hang this damn thing from the ceiling yeah. and just be like, Shh, I just love this oh my God. modular product. I want, this, I want to do this. This is brand new shit. This is your standard hex tray. It's now compatible with the Hero Vault and the Tabletop Vault to create a little hex set. What do y'all know about monsters in maps? Okay. Denru and Crystal Sully are back. What Crystal did, designed a monster, custom for each vault. Devin went in and actually created the map that this monster hails from. Coming in at 14 inches. The party Love it. Tree. Mention the and size. Absolute beast. Put this right in the center of the table for community roles and has the added bonus of being able to... 
hold your freaking tiles. So Ooh. this tray can hold up to 14 tiles. And you could like perfectly tuck them away. Let's say you wanted to take this out and be like, hey, I want to put this here. Boom. They all fit. And that's like what we're offering. There's other shit where it's going to be released <laughs> slowly throughout the campaign. That's why you should keep up to date with the shit that I'm putting out because every single update, I'm going to be bringing new shit. I mean, I think I hope. There's one more thing I need to convey to everybody. Now, we've had a problem for the past couple of campaigns. I've been working with Kickstarter directly. And I, I want to I wanna just say, I almost feel personally attacked with how perfect this Kickstarter is going right now. This is quite literally nearly everything that I always hope and dream of. Uh, some of these ideas are so different and interesting and spectacular. And that's, I love when I just see companies doing new things like, oh, there's going to be more stuff. Like, we're actually going to have more tiers for you to buy. But we're, we're, we're going to release it sporadically, so you need to keep coming back. You need, this is going to be the spot for the next 28, 14, whatever it is days. You don't want to miss it. There's excitement, there's buzz, there's humors. I want to come back. I normally do these and then I don't go back, you know, but I want to come back and I want to see what the hell's going on with this. And that is so well done. And I've been going, hey, our customers are getting the worst experience ever. You're just refreshing the page every single day to see when you go live so you can get up in that bitch. And so many people are like, get kicked out and they like kicks them into a tier that's like six months later than they originally did. It's bullshit, honestly. Instead of Kickstarter fixing their dumb site, we are going to change the way we're doing it so that that can't happen. We're going to have a single tier. One single tier, which means it's not limited, no glitching, the only thing. <laughs> oh my gosh! And what do I always say? You don't need a huge convoluted area. Simplicity goes a long way in one tier. Like one tier, it doesn't get more simple than that. Everyone to understand, because people don't read things. I know because I'm one of those people. The one <laughs> tier, it's going to say fulfillment February. That's when we're going to start fulfilling this thing. So your fulfillment date will be dependent on your backer number, not your tier number. I just don't want people going to the page, seeing February, and thinking regardless of when they pledge, they're all going to get it in February. Past that, we are good. I look forward to making this. Forewarning. I like it. The smoothest campaign you've ever back from Wormwood thus far. Woo! And see you guys Tuesday. And... And then they announced when the next, you know, video or whatever is going to drop. Awesome. Awesome. That was so well done. Whew. That wasn't even the main video. Okay. So I still, hopefully they have, and then we have all the woods available. Do we know the prices? So that's the one thing. I was hoping this would be just a huge shopping area. So this is the prices. Oh, don't get ahead of yourself. Don't get ahead of yourself. So there's going to be one tier, which obviously, uh, so $20, bare minimum. Pledge here for any desired items from the hexagonal gaming system. Use our pledge calculator to determine your total pledge. Very clean and clear. So the first thing that I need... So this is almost like a, a shopping experience. So I was a little bit skeptical, like, oh, where's this, where's that? But no, I think this is going to be like when you go to a really upscale shopping experience, which is maybe what they're going for. Like, so first we need to decide what kind of wood you would like. Uh, and that's that's hot. So, yes, yeah, sir, I'd like the Purple Heart. And then uh, there's a lot of this project, so let's start from the beginning. The tabletop tiles, the solo and the duo tile. Uh, so, and now we have a brief description of what it does, pictures of it moving, and then the price, $20 uh, for that. So they're so versatile, it's hard to imagine a gaming table. The duo tile starts at $20. So the card tile starts at $20. Okay, I would almost maybe combine them together potentially but i don't know if you want to I, I guess maybe they're trying to explain everything right here too but they're all oh, so this was where they start to get more expensive it's got the magnum on the bottom makes sense thirty dollars okay combo tile oh yeah so i hope we're, so i hope this is thirty dollars or else it's gonna be weird that we're dipping back down yeah that's always kind of weird when you do that like why why are we dipping up and dipping down uh so so twenty dollars the tracker tile i'm gonna guess it's a 30 buck no there's a so there's a 35 er and that that one itself i can understand why that is so damn cool uh but this this is what i'm talking about this is what makes kickstarter so fun i'm enjoying going through this experience of seeing how much money i'm going to pay them potentially and when you can do that i think that's ooh, lightning in a bottle so the note tile awesome thirty dollars interesting that that one's thirty dollars oh wait does it come with pads uh, so, so it's just odd that it would come with $30 when that one's a, I don't know. Who knows? Who knows? Uh, the tavern tile. Oh yeah. That one's sexy. That one's sexy. 25. Never dip down when you've dipped up folks. <laughs> 
it's it's the truth you can't dip up and down uh so we that's such a good shot so 25 bucks and who's who doesn't want that one you know that's just such a slick one to pull out it's like oh do you have a bottle opener it's just like that's cool all right so the modular tile rack okay and yeah this is so yeah show me those sexy images 35 want it so it's like 35 oh my goodness hexagonal storage awesome and i'm sure if that's something that you would use you know exactly what you're going to use it for right now i think that's definitely more of a rpg one or maybe if you're playing like a gloomhaven or something like that like a jaws of the lion style one that'd be cool actually to store that in there okay so it okay awesome all right so we got the hero vault the 30 bucks we got the tabletop vaults we got the hexagon so i i see what we're doing here this is awesome we're showcasing everything 85 the monsters and maps 65 85 and this is a really nice shopping section like i'm in like so what do we, and then we got the, the masterwork signature series it wouldn't be warm without a piece showcasing the high-end craftsmanship synonymous with their name combining white oak wenge and genuine silver this lovely vault and dice tray set provides for its functionality you need oh so that was the thing i don't know if that was the thing in the middle they were holding roll the dice after all this it shouldn't come as a surprise that here at wormhood we have an affinity for wood we have all of our favorites but maybe you don't maybe you can't decide because you like all of them or you just don't have strong opinions on wood type at all the roll the dice option is designed for you pay one fixed price and receive your choice of the items below each in a randomly selected wood ranging in value from the black walnut all the way to the master caster ebony which i imagine this is where we're going to be doing some bargain ben shopping where you're going to get some deals as long as you're not so picky on certain things which i love that this shows me oh we're trying to bring in more people as well you know we're no we're pricey like you're going to be spending a hundred plus dollars easily on probably what you're going to get on here but we're still trying to do so i like that i love this section so let's see how it works roll the dice on tabletop tiles including your chosen tabletop tile design in a randomly selected wood so what after so let me try and understand so the roll the dice option is designed for you pay one fixed price which is 35 bucks and receive your choice of the items below each in a randomly selected wood oh so you're gonna get one of uh included a hexagonal dice tray in your choice of matching tabletop vault or hero vault okay so for 35 bucks uh tabletop vault or hero vault i think you're banking a little bit too much on me remembering what that is uh tabletop vault and hero vault what so which one was that includes so i'm gonna get the hexagonal dice tray in your choice of matching tabletop vault or hero vault matching tabletop vault or hero vault okay so maybe this one could be a bit clearer maybe i'm just dumb let me know what you think in the comments down below or maybe my memory is just bad which is totally true roll the dice on a party tray uh so you're gonna get a random party tray awesome i think that's probably gonna be one that people take add-ons display tile Ooh, interesting uh meeples oh those sexy sexy meeples 29 10 dollars for the suede liner 16 resin dice and this is a fun little add-on area right here clean clear i'm just buying exactly what i want the rock end caps the weird things in case you want it to look like a thing as we put it then we're back to the wood and then we have the tier pricing <clears throat> um okay you know this is functional if you know what you're doing but like as someone who didn't remember all the names of the different things it's just like a lot of numbers accessory pricing shipping estimates but i imagine if you had it written down which is probably what you do i imagine that's probably what most people would do if they're on this they're gonna write down what they do which makes it simple awesome shipping estimates seven to twelve dollars canada 20 to 25 rest of the world 25 to 30 and those are very reasonable shipping estimates and this you know <clears throat> the other thing is i would mention the vat somewhere in that uh because that's super important to the rest of the world and i'm very curious to see how this one is doing worldwide because this is a product that's going to have mass appeal but still yeah united states 3000 canada 200 and then the rest of the world still not very much unfortunately but that's that's just the way of the world right now uh so what do we got i think that, so okay so what's my final grade i've just been wowed by this so honestly this kickstarter just kind of floored me oh updates comments let's go there great i think this thing is just launched yesterday uh are the tile racks priced individually or as a set of two they are sold and priced as a set We've updated the page of page calculated to clarify. Are the tile rack end caps? Oh, oh, yeah. If <laughs> they made you buy two individual, that would be kind of crummy. Can a hex tray hold a tabletop? Are the leather straps? Okay, there's lots of questions here. I would quite honestly, I always say, take a look at uh, Reload Games Colossal, uh, how they did their 
Uh, Colossal Games Reload, how they do their Kickstarter thing where they just help organizers a little bit easier. I think that should just be the standard. But here we go. So this is from yesterday. What is going on? Part Oh, I didn't even check the uh, the number of updates. Wow. I'm so, so 22 comments, 71 hearts. So that immediately tells me this is not the best update. And why? Because it's all about one thing, and that's engaging people and getting people to comment because that's how you tickle those Kickstarter algorithms. So always end with a question. I think that's just always, always, always... Uh, the best thing to do. So, because you have, you know, how many people do you have? 3,700 people in 22 comments. It could be so much more, even if it's just like, what, like, so, there's so many softballs. Like, what game are you most excited to use this with first? Like, just like that no brainer. Like, so let us know in the comments below. Are you planning on keeping this on the table or storing it? Where are you going to store it? Like, we're just curious, like, so we can make our products better in the future or something like that. And you're reaching out to them, asking them for help in stuff like that, which people are all about doing, especially if they're about to spend $110 for, for these little trays. Um, so totally, I'd get them engaged because I guarantee this does not end with a question. I'm going to predict that. What is going on, party people? Thank you so much for an incredible first day, half day, and pup. They are all here. Honestly, I've never been on the back end of a Kickstarter before. Uh, I've never actually talked to backers. Seems crazy, but I'm honestly very excited to be owning the project like this. You are all my number one priority for the next month. I want to provide an update video every week. I want to keep di deep to Oh, wow. Uh, I want to keep RTD, Monsters and Maps, Mice for Surprises, and more. Expect a video with some new content every Saturday, but that is not at all what you'll be hearing. From oh, I thought it was Tuesday, but whatevs. But that is not all you'll be hearing from me. I will spend... Be spending time in the comments section regularly, and we'll be providing any text updates as there's everything anyone needs to know sooner. So he's pretty much saying, I am so into this Kickstarter. I am going to be neck deep into this all the time. I am here. I'm for you. That's so that's awesome. Uh, I hear everyone in the comments, caster tile adjustments, tile rack. I will be looking into all these things first thing tomorrow. I can make promises. But I won't advocate for everything. I also will be certainly providing some organized hard info like rtd odds and some history on our wood selection i don't know what rtd odds everyone will have the exact info they have thanks again for everything you'd like some evening ready you can check out uh so okay i have been waiting for hexy time as a note the campaign says the roll and dice faults and trays can be gotten as a set but the pledge calculator sees them as separate items uh thanks for putting this out yes the hex set is available as roll the dice good stuff fellas i look forward to using my new tiles bobby is killing it great kickstarter so far please encourage easier shipping to canada as per the more recent kickstarters like mgt i'm very satisfied did i did i jump to an early conclusion on the shipping let me take a double so here's the thing it's 20 so it's 7 to 20 to 25 dollars i guess i guess it depends on how much you're getting really um because if you're just getting like four, like that seemed 20 to 25 seems really, well, I don't know. I, you know, it's a hard one to touch there. Just shipping anywhere outside the United States sucks right now. But I do see them active and engaged up in here. Crea creator, creator, creator. So that's awesome. We're going to have some great customer service, which I, once again, I was not surprised by because uh, I saw that in the previous campaign. So final grade on this one. Do I want it? Yes. Right from the jump. I am convinced. Great video. Can you do it? Yes. Great pedigree. Great track record. You mentioned it quite frequently. You presented yourself incredibly professionally. Very well done. And how much is it? Uh, that's the big sticking point. And, you know, I feel like they're super expensive. Like, I am not... I, I live, you know, in my lifestyle, this is not something that I will ever have because it's just the idea of me, like, just saying, hey, I want to I wanna buy these for this four-pack of things. It's going to cost... Ninety dollars, and it's like, what do they do? Well, they they hold stuff, they hold cards and shit. So, like, can you do it price wise? Or the the price is 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 high, but this is a premium item. They presented themselves as a premium item, and I'd say as a premium item, I don't think it's crazy out of the realm of possibility. Because once again, you have to look at it from the eyes of Kickstarter. So, in the end, I'm going to give this one an A, and I'm leaning towards an A plus. I feel like the price is high, but it's a premium item. Yeah, I'm going to go. I'm going to go with an A. I'm going to go with an A. I, I don't know. I don't, I've never given anything an A+, plus, but dang it, this is about as close as it's going to get, I do think. This is one of the best Kickstarters. I'd rather spend that money on more games instead. And yeah, John, I mean, this is a very niche item, but I feel like they're really appealing to that market well. And I think the price point they have to that market of this niche item, I think it's a reasonable price for them. So you know what? I'm gonna, I'm gonna give it an A plus. This is the best. This is one of the best Kickstarters I think I've ever seen. I'm excited to come back to it. Yeah, A plus. A plus for the hexagonal gaming system by Wormwood. Top freaking 
notch. Good stuff. If it looks like Mike, your cup of tea, be sure to check out that Kickstarter link down below. Tom Powers Game Course sent you. And if you enjoy this content, just leave some comments about what you think about anything I said or about this project because it helps tickle my YouTube algorithms. And it uh, makes these videos way more interesting because you can see what other people thought about the different things. And as always, thanks for your time, YouTube.